Okay, here's a game called Quads and Quotes. There are two players, white and black, and we'll get, I'm going to be using chess pieces. Um, both players have two types of piece. They have their quads, which are just normal pieces. You can play it with any sort of token. And they have their quotes, which are colourless pieces, and they have four of them. I'm using blue tech. The quotes act a bit like lives. You've got four lives until you lose. The object of the game is to create squares, and both players alternate in their turns. So if white goes first, it can go anywhere on the board, I'm going to go there. It's now black's turn, and they can place anywhere on the board as well. Um, so, I don't know, maybe there? Each person is trying to make squares. So for example, if white had gone there, 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 and there, then they would have a square, they would win the game. You can only put a one of your normal pieces each turn. If the other person is uh, threatening to make two squares, then you can use one of these to block, but you've only got four of them to use. So, for example, white could play here. At the moment, it's only got two pieces on the board, so it's not going to threaten any squares. So black's safe at the moment. Maybe it goes here. Now, these squares are still squares if they are at a, di a diagonal or if they're at an angle. So they might not be as obvious. But if white goes, say, here, it is now threatening the first square of the game. It's threatening, if it goes here, then black, uh, then it will win, and black will lose. So black has to play here. It can either play here normally, or it can block, and then we get to play this somewhere else. Um, well, black's just going to block. Notice it isn't threatening any squares yet. These three aren't on three corners of the square. Well, it's got another go, um, and it's going to go here. Now at first this looks like it's only threatening one square, it's threatening to go here. There's one, two, three, and this one. But actually it's threatening another one. It's threatening to go here, 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 and here for a diagonal square. So at this point, black is forced to play two of its pieces. Um, but you can choose which order it plays them in. You could even play two of these quotes to block and then place this somewhere else. Well, I think it's going to go there to block, and it's going to play this one up here, because at least it's up next to these, although it isn't actually threatening any squares. At the moment, the white has the initiative, and it's black has now only got three of these to block with. Now, if um, you suddenly notice that you are threatening a square, then and the other person has some of these left, it's fine, they can block it at any point. It's not like you try to catch them up, it's like you're trying to fresh them with squares five times. So they're lives rather than kind of catching out things. Um, so uh, let's progress the game. White finds it hard to um, freshen any squares at that point. At this point, you might just have to go diagonally. Um, there's freshening the square. It's freshening one here. And if we just check, no, there's no diagonal ones it's doing. I think black's happy to uh, do that one. And for the first time, black is threatening the square. And it takes a while to see it. It's got one here. Is it one, two, three, there. It's kind of a skewed square. So now white is on the defensive. Let's see what happens. White plays there. Um, presumably threatening a square. Although I can't see it. Ah, yes, here's one. Da, 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 da. It's threatening one. Black is happy to play here, because it threatens the square. Possibly more than one. Just have a quick check. No, it looks like it's only one, which white's happy to do. Okay, there's black. That seems like a good move, because it's threatening one here and one there. Um, so white is now down on life. It's going to play that one there, because it's far away from the other ones. That one there. Freshens at least one. In fact, it freshens one here. Also freshens one here. So black has done another life. So there's a, a slight acceleration to this. That one at least freshens the square. So you go that way around. Yep, looks good. Uh, now I'm using bigger pieces because I ran out of pawns, but there's no difference to these. So this, this is still an identical piece. So white is going to go there. 
which looks like this is so dense it looks like it's freshening in loads. So black has to be a bit careful here. There's definitely one here. And there's a diagonal one, or a kind of skewed one here, 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 here. I think that might be it. Okay. So black is going to block that one like that, and it's going to go that one there, so at least it freshens one in return. It's freshening the white's one there, so white's going to block. Black's go. Goes there, which I don't think is freshening any. White's go. Gonna go there, which freshens one over here, and one over here. So black has to use its one remaining quote. It's gonna go that way around. There. And so white can see a single other one to win at this point, then it's won the game. Which in fact it has, because with that one it actually freshened a third square. So it's freshening that one, that one, but also we've got one, two, three, this one. Black has no more quotes, so white can play this and win this square. And that's the game. Um, often it takes the whole set of chess pieces until one side is won. White is actually doing quite well here to still have three quotes remaining. Strategies for this game, well, playing lots on the same colour seems to be good. You get these kind of uh, diagonal parity things. I've always played this game on a Go board before, which is 21 by 21, um, but the difference there is that on a Go board you can just keep expanding, making bigger and bigger ones, whereas on a chess board you get ones nearer the edge, not threatening ones off the edge, so th the size is limited. I am unsure whether you can fill a whole board without uh, threatening more than five squares, but yeah, I think that's an interesting problem where you could get to the end of a chessboard variant of this and have a draw.